everyone, Chelsea Serpina here, and today I have a review on the four-piece collection by Light Slacker, the tortoiseshell set, along with some fun cat-inspired nail art. So let's get started. Starting with the review, I'm going to go from lightest to darkest. So this one is going to be Leonardo. Leonardo is an off-white to creamed colored semi-transparent jelly. It applied really nicely, especially with that paddle brush. I would say it does take three coats to reach opacity, but then again, that is with all of these polishes that are in this four piece collection. Everything was pretty smooth and easy. I didn't have any problems, no running or pooling. And then on top of it, it was easy to remove as well. Next, we have Michelangelo, and Michelangelo is again the same type of formulation, so I don't want to sound like a broken record, but as for the color, I'm literally in love with it. It's more of this yellowy, orangey tone that's like perfect for fall. I mean, it has these beautiful caramel vibes, if that's what you're going for. I think with Light Slacker, they hit the nail on the head with this one with the color, because by the time that I build up to the third coat, it really did look like I had those caramel, like Werther original candies on my finger. Is Raphael and Raphael is this beautiful red brown orangey undertones that are within this polish I definitely think that this polish looks best in three coats however you could possibly get away with two coats however if you do have a prominent nail line or something to that matter or maybe even longer nails I would definitely go with three coats but the results are absolutely stunning not to mention that again I'm in love with these paddle brushes because you don't have any running or pooling and they just apply like butter not to mention when it finishes it looks like it's gel polish which is always a plus because it is super super shiny Lastly, it's going to be Donatello. Donatello is this beautiful warm chocolate brown color that completes the whole set. Now with this, I will recommend doing three coats with this polish only so that you can get the depth that this polish can offer. If you do two coats, you could do that, but there are some lighter areas. They're not full on bald patches, but I feel like if you really want to add the depth of color to this, then definitely do three coats. Now I've been on the market now looking for a tortoiseshell set for quite some time ever since Cirque Colors came out with one. However, I could never get my hands on it because it was always sold out. So when Light Slacker came out with this, I had to get this and I'm so happy that I did. Now on to some nail art. My inspiration was a childhood cat of mine named Cleopatra, but I'll talk about her later. So first I'm gonna start out with Michelangelo. Now with Michelangelo, I wanna first put down a layer of this. Now you could technically use Leonardo, but because I want the caramel color, that's why I went with Michelangelo. Next, I'm gonna use a nail art brush from Twinkle Tea. You can use whatever you like, but I felt like this was a good width. And I'm gonna place down Raphael in kind of like blotches or sp spots. Now these need to be completely randomized. I mean, there's not really much of a thought process, but I, what I want to try to do is do a layering technique. After that dries a little bit, then I'm gonna go in with Donatello and I'm gonna overlap the darker brown color on top of the reddish brown tones. However, I don't wanna cover up Michelangelo completely. You just kinda wanna do like an overlapping technique as you can see here. And I'm just kinda going back and forth. Once I allow to dry, then I'm gonna go back in again with Michelangelo and then that's gonna create a layering effect. Then after that, I go back again with Donatello, the dark brown, and I'm gonna go over the same spots to dark and deep in those areas. Plus, I'm gonna add a little bit of some different variations of spots, as you can see. Finally, I'll go in then with Raphael just to kind of deepen up or blend a little bit of that other reddish brown just to get a nice hue. With this technique, it'll almost look as if they are bleeding together, so they give kind of more of a blurred effect.
I did three coats of Leonardo on my ring finger because of the fact that I wanted a palette cleanser, something of more of a neutral tone since there was a lot going on with this manicure, and I wanted to add a simple design to this finger. I'll be using today is Maniology's Artist Collaboration Mrs. White 8907 M006 plate. This is a really cute plate if you're looking for a lot of cat images. So today's outlining of all my stamping is going to be done with Straight Up Black by Maniology. You know this is my absolute favorite. I went after this cute little cat image with this smiling cat and then it says underneath meow. I thought this was just so simple and delicate and it stamped really really well. I did three coats of Leonardo on my middle finger and to be honest with you, I don't honestly know why I did it because I had a full size image that had a lot of deeper colors and tones. So I don't know. I don't know where I was thinking, oh, I need to put three coats. You really don't have to if you're gonna repeat this design. So I'm gonna go after this cute kitty paw image with my straight up black. I'm gonna scrape and then I'm gonna roll the stamp away from me so I can get a good pickup. From there, I'm gonna use a variation of different stamping polishes to get the different color patterns of different cats. So I'm gonna first fill in all these little toe beans or at least most of them with Skin Deep, which is a nudie peach color. And then the other colors that I chose were Indio, which is a burnt orange to add some ginger cats in there, along with Latte and Cocoa, which gives like this different variation of browns for the torty cat pattern if you catch my drift if you even own a torty cat you know they have like kind of like that almost brindle effect on them so it's kind of like a mission mash of different colors and textures then from there i went with bam white with the white i thought okay well there are white cats out there so i did that and then from there i went ahead back in with like the gray joy to add for like different cats like russian blues or the what is it british short hairs i guess and then of course I just did some different variations of different cats because not all cats have like nudie peach color, you know, toe beans. Some of them are black cats and they have like little black beans. And then from there I went ahead and just kind of just thought of different cats I could think of, you know, dark gray cats, tuxedo cats. This one was a sphinx cat, which was, you know, like those hairless cats. So I just tried different variations of different coats. Now once my stamping image was completely dried, I then placed a sticky base coat by Manny Allergy onto my nail. This is just basically to help the dried image from the stamper get onto my nail. And it only takes normally about 45 seconds to a minute. It can become tacky. From there, I went ahead and placed the dried stamp onto my nail. Now the only mistake that I did here is I forgot to put down a liquid latex, but it worked out because the image was completely dried. However, as you can see, I just basically wanna make sure that everybody is, all the are stuck on my nail so I'm just patting it with my finger making sure everybody is placed down and then I'm gonna go in with my tweezers and pluck off these paws I know it sounds awful for me to say that but that's basically what I went ahead and did here and I was just kind of like taking it and gently scraping around the edges just to kind of make sure that I could get off the excess and here's that sphinx and I feel so bad that I'm about to pluck it all right off however you can see the Leonardo underneath is showing just a tad So I'm gonna use my smudge free top coat by Maniology. This is after everything is completely dried. I give it a few minutes and then from there I can go in. But the trick with this smudge free top coat is that you do not want to drag the brush over it. You wanna kind of float it over so that you don't have any problems, but definitely wait a few minutes before you apply. After everything was completely dried, I then go in with my super chic lacquer quick drying top coat. Now with this, I really enjoy it because it made those jelly nails look even glossier than they already were. However, the wear time was fantastic. I wore this manicure for a few days and I was very happy with it. Now I did add a matte top coat to the stamping nails, but that was mainly because after I was taking my photos, I was getting glare. So that's why I mattified them. And honestly, I really enjoyed the matte slash glossy look. 
everything that I use in today's video, I will link down below. I am curious if you enjoy this manicure, if you're thinking about recreating it, let me know down below. Those who are new to my channel, I do a lot of nail art. So if you're curious, check out my playlist at the end of the video. Plus think about subscribing and becoming part of the Chills crew. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed. Don't forget to check out the, the community tab to stay updated for sneak peeks for future videos and life updates. Until then, take care and stay chilly.